when we deal with sustainable development goal number three, health and well-being for all, we need to take the stand in the person, in the girl, in the woman, in the boy, in the man. If we don't look at it as a full person, we're never going to achieve what we want to achieve. We really need to have it integrated. It just doesn't work working in silos. So the linkage and the coherence has to be in policies, in budgets, and in execution on the ground. If we look at policies, who are the key players? Well, of course we have government. We have the private sector who is lobbying for what they need, but also for a greater good. We have civil society and we have people themselves. They will be calling for good policies and good practices. We vote. If you look at women, they are producers, reproducers, consumers, voters. Of course, the legislative are the ones who make the decisions, but they are also impacted by all the others. What we do need is to look at health service delivery. We need to look at pharma. We need to look at how do we integrate the private sector? How do we integrate the public sector apart from government? We need to look at how do we deliver the services and where? We also need to look at data because if we don't know where people live and die, we can't get the right policies. Let me give you an example. When it comes to policies and how we can affect people's lives, if we look at diabetes and pregnancy, Today, there's no universal screening for diabetes in pregnancy. That means when a pregnant woman comes in, it's not forgiven that she will be tested for diabetes. At the same time, we know that one in six women get diabetes in her pregnancy. If we could have, through policies, through the right policies, a universal screening system, that would make a tremendous change. When women know their status on diabetes in pregnancy, they can take action. They can change their diet. They can kind of start getting more exercise to the benefit for both themselves and the baby and society at large, because this is expensive. If we let that go undetected, everybody pays for it. We also need to look at education because education and health is so integral, particularly when it comes to non-communicable diseases. It's the biggest prevention. It's often in the schools. It's the, the first years in school where you also put down the, the habits, the bad habits, the good habits where you can break them. It's in adolescence. But there we really need to look at what's the life and how are the policies going to affect that, not just piecemeal, but in a total.